friends today in this session this session also we have divided into two part one and part two but we would be discussing only one topic that is credit risk management so what is actually credit risk management because credit risk management and rbi guidelines there are two there are various guidelines given by the rbi especially in uh, credit risk management in the bank portfolio there are various risk that is mainly there is a, the, the foremost the most important one is credit risk market risk operational risk interest interest rate risk so many risks are there but here our topic would be our talk would be confined to only on credit risk <clears throat> what is credit risk the credit risk is defined as the possibility of loss associated with the diminution in the credit quality of the borrowers or counterparty it is a loss associated with the diminution in the credit quality of the customer or the borrower or the counterparty so in a bank's portfolio the losses on account of the credit risk is common that is mainly because of that uh, inability or unwillingness of the borrower or the customer in making the commitment financial commitments uh, financial commitments that is why this um, this uh, losses will come in making this financial commitments in in respect of because what banks are doing banks are in respect of we can say that lending lending is one credit uh, facilities are being lended credit lending then trading is also there then set, set, uh, settlement or any other financial transaction wherever the losses uh, take losses takes place those are credit risk in relation to the, the credit so these are the areas which uh, wherein the credit uh, credit losses are taking place see inability or unwillingness to meet the commitments in regard to lending trading settlement or any other financial transactions okay banks uh, customer banks clientele that emanates from the banks dealings emanates from <coughs> banks dealing emanates from evidence with uh, an individual or a corporate or even corporate or even other banks uh, or a state or sovereign the various kind of parties these uh, dealings would be there and the losses when it occurred it may be either total loss or partial loss and credit risk is concerned it is the most important risk in the comprehensive risk management of any bank and it risk may be it can be seen either in terms of a default risk default risk means the payment is not forthcoming the default that means ultimately not the bank has to in the inter, um, prior to return of bank has to make the provision send person provision then finally it has to be written off so the loss this is that is known as the default risk then migration risk this the risk can be seen various ways what is default risk then comes migration risk migration risk means from one category when standard category if it is shifted to if it is drifted to another category say substandard or doubtful or bad ads so in that case each level that uh, bank is incurring the loss so that is migration risk then exposure risk the concentration suppose in any industry any type in the industry the bank's concentration of the credit portfolio or any investment portfolio for that matter any uh, exposure is concentrating means more than the uh, limit prescribed that means concentration so there is a concentration risk there that because of the concentration risk or the exposure concentration risk also the bank may incur losses then exposure risk then counterparty if some countries are not in a position to remit due to their balance of payment or other ways so there even though uh, the bank has parted with the fund and the realization which has proceeds have already been received at the other center but due to some balance of payment position that bank may not be in a position to remit it there the delay is taking place there also bank is incurring the loss 
so these are the uh, the visible uh, risk visible losses on account of the risk which our bank banks are facing banks are facing okay then we can also say that suppose in any credit facility there is a delay in payment delay in repayment there also it is a problem will comes delay in repayment means that uh, banks uh, opportunity to reuse or recycle or um, reinvestment is blocked there so there also that uh, from that recycling that reuse or reinvestment whatever earnings can bank can that also getting blocked so there also the bank is in bank incurs uh, certain loss so these are the areas where the bank incurs law losses on account of the credit risk okay then what is our role or what is the banker's role this the various risk as i told you then how the risk can be with um, my um, risk can be managed that is as i told you in the comprehensive risk management the credit risk is the most important criteria i, I already um, uh, made a statement that is a very um, important that is very credit risk is the most important criteria in so far as a a comprehensive credit risk management what are the items include or what way it can be the uh, credit risk can be managed first of all we have to analyze we have to see identify which is the risk identify the risk that is identification of the credit risk once it is identified yes in particular account that risk is there then the measurement how much would be what would be the measurement is to be done then having seen this one having visualized that one then we have to see that we have to go in over the monitoring how to monitor it so that it can be taken back to in the normal shape then comes the finally the control of their credit risk exposure thereby once it is there monitoring is there then thereby controlling this this kind of this need not be reported and this should not be repeated in other cases also that control control of the credit um, credit exposure that is a, another area so the credit risk management encompasses the identification measurement then monitoring and control of the credit risk manage credit risk exposure then this is uh, what are the how this can be mitigated the proper the comprehensive credit risk management mechanism should be enforced that is very much essential that is very much essential for the long term success of a banking organization survival for survival also that uh, so far as the banking uh, bank survival is concerned that is also this uh, credit risk proper credit risk management should be in, in place so that is essential for the long term success of the banking um, organization so it is inevitable so it is imperative that every bank they must have the suitable and effective system in force that is what the importance what is how this where this management can take place what is the credit risk management now comes how what are the steps to be uh, initiated to have to implement or to put in place the credit risk management this can be broadly categorized as one is the preventive steps any cause we should always think that prevention is better than cure the preventive step that is first one then management once the pre preventive steps are taken then risk management if that is not working then risk is already there then how the risk management can be taken can be implemented can be initiated the when we talk about the preventive steps the first and foremost thing is that efficient appraisal appraisal is the main thing if an efficient there is a saying in monitoring that efficient appraisal credit appraisal without the effective monitoring is of no fruit and an effective monitoring without an efficient um, credit appraisal as of no root so this is what you know that efficient appraisal of the borrower 
and when we talk about the appraisal of the borrower we should see the best the first thing should be first step should be identification of the borrower that is antecedents uska antecedent background all the things to be studied then only bank will come to the conclusion yes we can extend financial assistance and then finally then comes what are the steps in which the finance can be extended so first one the appraisal comes a lot of things what are the uh, how much we can extend what are the precautions should be taken what where there is can be uh, taken care of in each and everything in the bank as i told you earlier one of the sessions bank already it was financial intermediary now the stage has come bank has become the risk intermediary to so risk risk everywhere risk without risk nothing is moving the so risk should be taken care of so the first and foremost thing so far as the credit risk is concerned the, that is a is, is the preventive step efficient appraisal followed by efficient monitoring and borrower and this part of this uh, appraisal that comes identification of the borrower now second one is misselling again another this one nowadays banks are also give every branches are also given target for uh, sort of selling third party products and all and instead of going for our primary products many times branches uh, not in their over enthusiasm to go in for uh, uh, achieving the target and everything we go for third party products also but the major thrust will be taken for third party products that will in turn will lead to the risk the basic thing our um, whenever we go for the recovery then our things won't come any obligation from the borrower side they will take the leverage of that and thereby they we will find it little difficult for uh, getting this uh, recovery or getting the repayment or uh, meeting this commitment by the borrower in time so miss selling is another drawback then these are the preventing as far as we should try to prevent preventing how to prevent the risk credit risk is first i said efficient appraisal that is the foremost important thing second one miss selling or concentration risk as i already explained concentration risk the another one is exposure norms exposure norms in the previous uh, session i uh, explained that individual and the group and uh, it should be ensured that individual that exposure should not exceed 15% of the capital funds and so far as uh, group is concerned it should not exceed 40% of the capital funds exceptions are that infrastructure 5% and 10% each can be given for both the categories and in addition also 5% that i already explained um, adequately no exposure norm should be meticulously complied with then collateral and insurance do we consider it as an um, risk management tool no because collateral and risk insurance <coughs> they can be treated as only risk mitigating factor these are only risk mitigating anything happens yes we have got collaterals we can dispose it of and we can recover it but here our talk would be on risk how to prevent the risk so collateral and insurance also insurance is there anything happens by fire or something some mishap has taken place so thereby the loss has taken place that is not a credit risk but that loss can be mitigated by the insurance and all so that is not an management tool at all that is a we can say that is a comfort factor like collateral and insurance comfort factor then rate of interest suppose abnormal exorbitant rate of interest is charged in the in the account what will happen the uh, aside that is the account the borrower will find it difficult to service the interest obligation leave aside the installment so you are servicing the interest and that will lead to the loss so interest rate of interest is a one of the components of the preventive steps there are also the proper uh, fixing of the uh, ideal rate of interest based on the risk perception involved that rate of interest should be fixed so that in no way the borrower is burdened or in other way that may lead to the credit loss or credit risk loss or loss in on account of the credit risk then policy uh, irsc norms 
income recognition asset classification irsc norms there is here what uh, bankers are able to bankers are able to measure the volatility in income or profit even as per the present guidelines even for standard assets also provision is required and followed by sub, substandard doubtful and bad ads doubtful and bad ads so wherever the percentage is given based on that provision is to be required and irsc norm it will it is a whatever provision is being made it's a load on the pro, bottom line or the profit and so the borrower can have a measurement how the profit or loss that is how volatile how it is being reacting okay then there are various uh, this uh, manage offer as credit credit risk management we have or now say only discussed about what are the preventive steps which are to be taken uh, to avoid the recurrence of the credit risk or recurrence of the loss on account of the credit risk now some gu certain guidelines are also being framed also being circulated down the line by rbi for meticulous compliance so far as credit risk is concerned 